Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and start the afternoon lesson. It doesn't look like anybody's going to join me. So um, on the schedule, I had that we are going to do the news to you geography page. Okay, so we're on the Great Kindness Challenge, which is um, the story for the week of January 11th, 2021. So did you guys get a chance to read the story for this week, the Great Kindness Challenge? Just in case you didn't, let's go ahead and read through that really quickly. And then um, we'll do the geography page. Okay. News to you, January 11th, 2021. The Great Kindness Challenge. The Great Kindness Challenge is January 25th to 29th. Students do kind acts during the kindness challenge. Okay, so the great kindness challenge, this story is about um, students. Well, it's a challenge that's um, the week of January 25th through the 29th, which is in about um, a week, a little over a week. So not next week, but the week after is the great kindness challenge. Students from all over the world, schools all over the world, do the Great Kindness Challenge or the Kindness Challenge. Kind acts make people feel good. Kind acts include smiling at people, helping people, and thanking people. Okay, remember we talked about that last month? We talked about helping people and giving back. Kind acts make people feel good. Okay. Being kind includes smiling at people, helping people, and thanking people. Students can do kind acts anywhere. They can do kind acts at home, at school, and in communities. Okay, so students do kind acts anywhere. Okay. The kindness challenge lasts one week. Students do many kind acts. How many kind acts can you do? Okay, so um, if you want to participate in the kindness challenge on the week of the 25th through the 29th, you can do kind acts, but you can do them any day of the year or the week. Um, so you can start now. So what kind of kind acts can you do? Maybe saying hello to somebody or telling them that they are um, smart or they look nice or holding a door open for somebody. There's a lot of things that you can do. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our worksheet for now. Our lesson is gonna be um, the geography page. We're gonna practice um, reading a map. So that's page 50. Okay, so let's read the instructions. Geography, use the map to answer the questions. Can you use the map to answer the questions. And what is this a map of? Carlsbad, California. Okay, this is a map um, of Carlsbad, California. Okay, so, and the reason why we're talking about Carlsbad, California and this map is because if you remember in the video we watched about the kindness challenge, um, they said that the, it started in a school in Carlsbad, California. Okay, so that's why. So this is a map, okay? And what we're focusing on is usually highlighted. So this is yellow and the rest of the map is gray. Okay, so the state of California, okay? And this is the state where we live. Did you know that? We live here in the middle. Okay, but we are looking for Carlsbad, California, which is here. Okay, and then we do see other things on the map. We see the capital of California, which is Sacramento. We see the Pacific Ocean here. To the left and to the right, we see other states like Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. And south of California is Mexico. North of California is Oregon. Okay, and then this is our compass or um, telling us the direction. So north is up, west is to the left, east is to the right, and south is down, okay? 
So let's answer the questions. What place is this page about? Okay, what place is this page about? Is it about Carlsbad, California? Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Or Newark, New Jersey? Answer one. Okay, so what do you think? What are we talking about? We are talking about Carlsbad, California. Okay, so you would circle. Carlsbad, California. Okay, that's correct. It is about Carlsbad, California. So you circle the first one, Carlsbad, California. Okay, let's read the second question. What body of water is Carlsbad on? Okay, what body of water is Carlsbad on? So there's Carlsbad right by the water. What is the water? Is it the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, or the Atlantic Ocean? Okay, well, I just mentioned it and it says it right there. So you look at the word, you match. Which one does it match? The Indian Ocean? Indian Ocean. No, does it match the Pacific Ocean? Pacific Ocean. Yes, it's the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so circle Pacific Ocean in the middle. Okay, and one last question. What direction would you travel to go from Carlsbad to Arizona? Okay, so there's usually one question about directions. So if you are in Carlsbad and you want to go to Arizona, which is here, okay, so maybe you can even use your pen if you're using the online. You can circle, there's Carlsbad here and Arizona here. Okay, which direction is that? Is that north? Is it up? Is it east to the right or west to the left? What do you think? Well, let's see, is it west? West. No, west would be the Pacific Ocean. Is it north? North. No, north would be Oregon. Is it east? East. Yes, Arizona is east of California. Okay, so you would circle east. Okay, so that is our geography lesson for today. I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson so I can upload it. And I will also upload a copy of the worksheet so you can complete it. Okay, so I'll see you at 1.30 for the afternoon meeting.